All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I have a Raspberry Pi 4. It's the 4 gig version, not that it matters. But uh, I just wanted to share an issue that I ran into trying to boot the Pi from a uh, solid state drive. So in my previous video, I posted how to do this and I was able to get it to work using the two solid state drives here with no issue. This is a 60 gig, this is 120 gig. So we're just gonna use the, the cheapo here. So anyway, I have this USB to SATA adapter and it comes with the enclosure. And a lot of people might have this you can pick them up on Amazon for like eight, nine, ten bucks. And it works really good. I use one for my uh, ghost satellite setup to save the images too. And it works fine. I have no complaints about it. But anyway, I tried to boot the Raspberry Pi 4 using this because I didn't have an extra one of these. So I ended up just using one of this enclosure adapter with the USB 3 and uh, you'll see what the issue was so I'm going to go ahead put this hard drive in here this solid state because this already has the Raspberry Pi image on it and we are going to go ahead and plug it into the Pi as such I have my monitor on so we are going to plug this guy in. As you can see, we have LEDs. <clears throat> we have it come up. And you can see it's a little bit slow. So anyway, if you look up here in the corner, we got the little uh, cursor blinking, which is normal. Then the... Uh, the GUI window there popped up real quick. And if we wait here. <clears throat> and wait some more. And wait some more. This is the problem I ran into. It was just taking its good old time and not doing anything and at times I would get a cursor up here like I just had but it didn't do anything so anyway let's just take unplug that adapter and let's try to unplug this with one hand and we'll plug this guy in so we have the solid state plugged in to the short external, you might as well say, adapter 3.0 to SATA. Got my plug. We're going to plug it back in. As you can see, we got light. And if we look up here, that screen popped up already and left. We got the cursor blinking. And voila. So if you have any issues trying to boot your Raspberry Pi 4 using this particular adapter, you may want to try a different adapter. Something like this. It worked fine. I tried three different solid states with this. I tried all different types of stuff and could not get it to work so I ordered up one of them little short things first try it fired right up so just thought I'd share this little uh, issue and hopefully it helps out thanks for watching stay tuned for another one don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button and uh, see you on the next one